In this video, we are going to perform the lightest installation possible. The first thing we will do is install the dependencies. There are two of them, FFmpeg and Latex. In order to install the dependencies we need to install Chaco or Scoop. I will use Chaco. In case Chaco is not available in your country, I will also indicate the manual installations without Chaco. Go to this page and go through the installation steps. You have to open the PowerShell with administrator permissions and check the execution policy. If it's in restricted mode then run this command. Once this is done, we can install Chaco with this other command. Once installed, close that terminal and open another PowerShell with administrator permissions. Now run Chaco install FFmpeg. If you get the same as me, then Chaco has been installed correctly, plus FFmpeg. In case you are unable to install FFmpeg using this method, you can download the binary from the official page. Locate the binary somewhere and add the bin folder to the path, I'll leave you a video on how to do that. Now we have to install LaTeX. The easiest way is using TinyTeX, and you can install it with Chaco. Once TinyTeX has been installed we will have to install the LaTeX dependencies, it is very simple. Open a CMD, that is, a black terminal. To check that latex is installed we can use the latex command. If the command is not recognized, we have to use the refreshing command. Now the command is recognized. To exit this shell we use Ctrl C. To install the dependencies we will use the command tlmgr install, followed by the packages. In case you can't install LaTeX this way, you can use MicTeX. Go to the official page, download the basic version, install it and that's it.
Once install it, open Mictex console and update the packages. Finally we have to install Python. I must remark that for now you cannot use Python versions higher than 3.9, higher versions are not compatible with all dependencies. Check the documentation if you have any question. Go to the official Python page, look for the latest version of 3.9 and download it. Optional Dependencies we can install some helpful optional dependencies. I recommend that you install wget and git. wget is used to download binaries directly from the web. While git is a version manager, we'll use it later. When we install Python we must check the box that says add Python to path, this is important. We have installed Python globally. If we open a terminal and execute the Python command, then it will execute the binary that the system accesses by default. If we execute the command where Python, we will find the path of the binaries that the system looks for by default. However, Python has the peculiarity that we can create isolated environments in such a way that they are independent of the global environment and do not generate interference between them. To do that we have to install virtualenv with this command. Once we have installed this dependency we can create isolated environments. To do this, we have to use the virtualenv command followed by the name of the environment. We can see that this command has created a folder with the same name as our virtual environment. This folder has everything necessary so that we can use a Python isolated from the rest. However, in order for the system to recognize this binary, instead of the global one, we have to use the following command. When you run it, you will see that the name of the environment will be written to the left of the prompt. If we run, where Python again we will see that there is now a new path to the top. So, when we run the Python command, it's not going to look for these binaries, but this one. If we close the terminal, we will have to execute the previous command to reactivate the environment. This is the basic theory behind virtual environments. Now, to install Manum we simply have to use the following command. We'll also need Jupyter for this course, so I'll add that too. This installation may take a while. When finished, in theory, Manum CE should be installed correctly. Let's check out. For this we need a basic script. We can go to the official repository and download a file. To download some code we can use the wget command that we installed before. Now, to check that Manum works we will use the following command. If the following video renders, the basic dependencies are installed. Now we must check that LaTeX works. For that, we will use this other command.
If you installed LaTeX using MicTeX, then several windows of this style will appear, except in all of them. If you get an error, it's probably because MicTeX didn't install the dependencies automatically, so you'll have to do it manually. Open the MicTeX console, search package by package and install it. Once you're done, close the terminal, reopen it, and run the command again. If it renders the scene then we have succeeded, congratulations! You have successfully installed Manim CE. Caution! Be careful with left-click on terminal. If you are rendering a scene and accidentally left-click on the terminal, it will pause. This is something normal, it happens with all the terminals in Windows. Whatever process you're running, if you left-click on the terminal, the process is going to pause. To resume use the right-click. Be very careful with this. ManimGL installation. To download ManimGL, we have to go to the official 3 blue one Brow repository. I do not recommend that you use the current version, but those that have a tag, that is, the versioned ones. For example, today the latest version is 1.3, so if we want to download that version 1.3 we can download it from here, or use the git command. I recommend that you take a git course, it will make your life easier. In our case, to download version 1.3 we have to do it this way. This will download the source code for us. To install it you have to create a new virtual environment, we will call it MGL. We activate it and install the dependencies in this way. Don't forget the point at the end. Once this is done, we can check that ManimGL works by rendering some scene. The ManimGL repository already provides us with a script called Example Scenes, we render it with the following command. ManimGL flags are different from ManimCE, don't get confused. Now it asks me the scene I want to render, select 4. In my case it can't be rendered because I'm using Windows in a virtual machine, but you guys should have rendered a video like this. If so, then congratulations, you have successfully installed ManimGL. And so we finished this video, now you can see the first chapter of the Manim CE basic course, the complete course will be ready shortly. See you in the next line of code.